back to the channel. So this week we are going to be doing rice mini meals, really quick, really easy meals that are put together in no time at all. And I really had a lot of fun on my rice mini because I felt so amazing afterward and I felt so de bloated and energized. I just love, love, love the rice mini. So I kept it really simple. I always like my meals super simple. You guys know that, but especially when I'm on a mini, it's just my veg and my rice and that is it. And I even found a way of having a sweet kind of dessert, kind of like a rice pudding. Um, and I just enjoyed that as a dessert. And of course I am implementing fruit, which is the first time I did on any of the minis. And I will give you guys feedback on that. So I am going to say that by adding the fruit, the one piece of fruit on the mini for the 10 days is going to stall you just slightly from losing your optimal amount of weight if weight loss is your thing, but it's not going to be a huge, huge deal. Um, but there is a little bit, I find you are going to lose a little bit more if that's why you're on the mini, if you don't implement it, but it really is really healthy to implement at least one fruit a day in my opinion. So it's worth it. Um, also, if you have a lot of cravings, that's going to offset you and kind of give you that treat that you're looking for. That piece of fruit is going to become something that you're looking forward to, and it's going to really help you get through those 10 days if you've never done a mini before. So the rice mini is my favorite. You guys know that. That is my absolute favorite. I have done many different types of minis. You guys can check out my playlist. Okay guys, so here is some info on Dr. McDougall's website. You can go ahead and read further on the website, but I do recommend you checking it out because there is a wealth of knowledge on the website and there's a lot of info about the Mary's Mini there. So it's really important to have an instant pot or a big pot full of your starch of choice that is ready for you whenever you are going to be hungry and that way you don't even have to worry about it. It's already done for you and you just have to get your veggies in order. This is a very staple meal for me, just rice and my broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And I used Mrs. Dash on all of my minis because it's just salt-free and it's super easy and it is very flavorful. And then we did find beans that were not, you know, a million dollars, which they have been really expensive lately. Um, so I decided that I was going to make some beans and I had to make beans for a potluck for my daughter's school. So I decided to just make a whole bunch in my big Dutch oven and I'm just boiling it in water and I have some garlic cloves in there just to add some extra flavor. So if I was doing it just for us, then I would add some pimenta sauce, which Portuguese people use, and it's just, it gives it kind of like a kick, but it doesn't get super, super hot um, and spicy, but it does add a lot of extra flavor. But because I was serving it to other teenagers, I didn't know if they were going to like it, so I left that out. So as far as condiments go, you can have a barbecue sauce. This is a teriyaki sauce that is oil-free and really, really low in sugar that I found. So I added a few drops of that for extra flavor and the Mrs. Dash, of course. Um, but you can use condiments, just use them sparingly. So I felt like I needed a snack, so I just put some rice in a bowl and added some cinnamon and a little bit of water, and that is pretty much it. Um, that is my seasoning. I use pumpkin spice seasoning. You can use cinnamon, whatever else you want to add in. Um, and this was a really nice treat and a snack for me. So be sure to add in as many leafy greens as possible. I really, really recommend that. Any kind of leafy green will do, but make sure you're getting enough greens in and that way you are going to be going to the bathroom enough and you are going to get all your, your nutrients and your vitamins. It's really, really important to implement that. So I did enjoy a lot of the different greens while on my 10-day mini. And of course, my rice on the side. So I do the 50-50 plate. If you're not familiar with that, then go check out my playlist because I do explain a little bit more about the 50-50 plate and also Dr. McDougall's website also explains a lot about that. Basically it is 50% of your plate is your non-starchy veggies and 50% is your starch of choice and that is pretty much it. Super simple, very easy. There is really no stress with this you know diet and same thing with the starch solution like it's so basic and um, really easy to understand that anybody can really do this way of eating um, and it doesn't really matter you know where you're coming from um, you know what your background is and what you're used to eating anybody can eat like this because it's so flavorful it's so delicious and it's so easy to implement so as far as my veggies go, sometimes I felt like I needed a little bit extra veg. So I would have an extra bowl of my veggies after I had my starch of choice just to make sure I was getting a wide variety of veggies. And I did use soy sauce and uh, liquid aminos just for extra flavoring. Like I said, you can have condiments, just don't load it on. Just put it sparingly, just a little bit.
So I also find that herbs add a lot of extra flavor and dimension to your meal. So if you like different herbs, then throw those in and that way you're getting a little bit more flavor into your meals and you're kind of jazzing it up, but in a good way because we know that herbs are so, so healthy for us. decided to show you guys a super quick and easy you know meal that I had to whip up because the only veg that I had was this mixed veg and there's corn in there so typically on a Mary's mini you are not going to have the rice and the corn but you would just stick with corn or you stick with rice you don't really mix and match them but this is all I had so I'm just showing you guys that sometimes while on the mini you're gonna encounter some issues just if it's one meal, it's not gonna kill you. It's not a big deal. I would say eat it because you need a variety of veggies and then worry about the next meal later on and make sure that you have stuff that is going to be compliant. So I have been craving iceberg lettuce for some reason and because it's not crazy expensive like it was a couple months ago, I've been buying it again and just using that. Like I said, different kinds of greens, just making sure that I'm getting a wide variety. And I really like this crunch of the iceberg lately. So I had that and I enjoyed it outside because for some reason, some crazy, crazy weather is happening. And in Toronto, it is really, really summer-like in April, which has never happened and it's record-breaking, but I'm gonna enjoy it. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out my playlist for further information on the Mary's Mini and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for the love and support and welcome to all the new subscribers. Much love, health, joy, and positive vibes. I'll see you in the next video.